We're going to continue with equations, fractional equations here. Okay, how do we solve this? What's our first step of solving this? Could we factor the top and cancel with something on the bottom? We could factor the top, but guess what? Not going to cancel. Next try, Daniel. Multiply both sides by x plus 4. What's 0 times x plus 4? 0. So basically, you're just taking the numerator equal to 0. Okay. So if we factor this, x and x minus and minus 3 and 3, x equals 3. The solution is just x equals 3, and that's it. All right, on this one, this is like what we had yesterday. The denominator of this side is x minus 6, x plus 3. So, to solve this equation, we multiply everything by the least common denominator. x minus 6, x plus 3. x minus 6, x plus 3. x minus 6, x plus 3. And then we cancel. Well, the x minus 6 is cancel here. The x plus 3 is cancel here. And all of this cancels with all of this. So what am I left with? Well, I'm left with 6 times x plus 3 plus 4 times x minus 6 equals 9x. Once I get to there, it's fairly simple algebra. Do the what property? Distributive 6x plus 18 equals 4x minus 24, or plus 4x minus 24 equals 9x. So 10x minus 6 equals 9x. So if I subtract 10x from each side, negative 6 equals negative x, so x equals 6. So if I plug a 6 into this equation, what happens? I get, zero. get 0 in the denominator. Well, if 6 is my only solution and that doesn't work, then there is no solution to that equation. Remember, you always have to, in any time you're working with rational equations and solving them, you always have to check your answers. Always, always, always. All right, Midtown Sports Apparel has found it needs to sell golf hats at $2.98 each to, in order to be competitive. It costs them $2.41 to produce each hat, and the business has a weekly overhead cost of $4,000. Okay. <laughs> Let X be the number of hats produced. Express the average cost of producing one hat as a function of X. Well. It has overhead costs of $4,000. So you got to pay $4,000 whether you produce zero hats or 4 million hats. There's an overhead cost of $4,000. Plus, it costs another $2.41 per hat. Okay. Now, that's how much it costs. We want to find the cost per hat to produce. Well, you have to divide that by the number of hats produced because it's the cost over the hats. So if we look at that, that is the cost function. Now, solve algebraically. Find the number of golf hats that must be sold each week to make a profit. Well, their income is two ninety eight per hat. Okay, so to make a profit, you have to basically sell, you have to find the break-even point. Okay, find the break-even point. So this 
minus this should equal zero. So $2.98 per hat. Okay. Minus the 4,000 plus $2.41 per hat should equal zero. Well, what we could do, I mean, it's, this was finding for each, for one hat. So this is, this is for multiple hats. So I don't think we have to put it over X here. I think we can just solve it like this to figure out the number of hats, okay? So, if we do this, 298 minus 241 is 57 cents per hat profit minus the 4,000 equals zero. So 0.57x equals 4,000. So if we divide by 0.57, what's 4,000 divided by 0.57? It's a pretty big number. Let's round to the nearest. Hmm, I wonder what. I would say, well, it says, They want 7,018, because 7,017.5, it says integer or decimal. They shouldn't have the decimal in there. It should be round up to the next one, nearest hat. Should should be 7,018 hats per week, okay? How many hats must be sold to make a profit of $1,000? This was break even, or to make just a, barely start making a profit with 7018. So to make a thousand dollars you do the same thing. Two dollars and ninety eight cents X minus four thousand plus two forty one X equals a thousand dollars. So point oh five seven X minus four thousand equals a thousand. So if we move the four thousand point Five seven x, not point oh five seven x, point five seven x equals five thousand. Divide by point five seven. So five thousand divided by point five seven. And did you round it up? Eight thousand seven hundred seventy two hats need to be sold to make a profit of at least $1,000. So they're not making much money for all the hats they produce. All right, um, this one. To solve this one, how many denominators do you see? Two. Two, the X minus five and X minus five. Really, there's a one there, but one times anything is whatever that is. So. Basically, I'm going to multiply every numerator by x minus 5. So I get x times x minus 5 plus 8x, because these cancel, equals 40, because those cancel. So x squared minus 5x plus 8x minus 40 equals 0, or x squared plus 3x minus 40 equals zero. So x minus five and x plus eight equals zero. So x equals five and negative eight. Now if we stick in a five to that equation, what happens? Zero. Zero in the denominator, so that is not a solution. If we stick in a negative eight, that will work. 
So it's only <laughs> negative 8. The next one we've done, ones like that. There's only five questions to do before lunch. So you guys can get going on that. Um, I will put the assignment out there in a second.